Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Kaze and the Wild Masks. We're still here in World 2, and Kaze is still annoyed with me for taking too long with these intros. Anyway, it's time for the boss fight. Buck's Brigade. The only, the only uh, enemy standing between us and success that leads us on to World 3 and beyond in this game would be Buck. So, what is him and his brigade like? We're about to find out. Oh, it looks like a f boss fight that we use the uh, the bird power up for, which is kind of cool. Oh, great! He has commandeered an army of an army of flaming pumpkins, like we saw from Pumpkin Pyre, which is always a good time. If I'm not mistaken, I think I just saw him like puff up. He, he there he is in the background, and I saw him puff up almost like he was getting hurt, when I shot the the beat enemy with my, like, beam or whatever that comes out of my beak. So, I think, um, my goal is to just defeat all of the beats. Yeah, see? Now he's, like, puffing up and, like, taking even... Now he's floating away? Like, what's he doing? Alright, here he comes. Now he's gonna... Now he's gonna fight me like a true champ, right? Whoa! That's, that's the actual first hit, I guess. You're supposed to hit him with without getting um, your shot blocked by the green, the greenery around his head. So you puff him up twice by hitting the beats, like so. Then he floats out into the arena proper, and you can actually hit him. Now bear in mind, this is um, in case you missed the previous boss fight. Still one of those types of things where I have to do it without taking damage in order to get 100%. So. All we gotta do now is sit back and see how many times that's going to take me. <laughs> These are some perilous pumpkin patterns. Because I like to place words that start with the letter P in my videos properly. Lol. Anyway. Uh, okay. Now hit him like there. No, oh, missed. You gotta hit him with the, in the not green area like that. Got him. Well, as much as I would like the fight to already be over, I, uh, you know, being the 2D platformer fan that I am, I'm kind of forced to assume that it takes three, ow, three hits to to to, uh, to do them in. Well, I ain't doing it no damage this time, that's for dang sure. That's a bit of a shame. All right, um, oh no, no! Okay, stay in the center. Now where do I go? I don't even know, I don't even know, I don't even know. I don't even know. What? What? I was about to say, where where did he go? He's supposed to he's supposed to still be here. No, no. Ugh! Oh, he boxed me in. I actually have to uh, okay. Well, buckle in folks. We gotta try again. It sure is a process to beat this guy. Rest assured that if it takes me, you know, more than a couple tries, I'll probably start editing a few attempts out. But uh, if I can get the whole experience without having to edit, then all the better. But um, I've already been doing it for this series for uh, certain videos here and there. So rest assured that if it gets to be too long, I will shave off some of the excess. You know, I'll trim the fat, as it were. <clears throat> All right, here he comes, looking puffy as ever. Get wrecked. Didn't have the chance to like get halfway across the screen, which I like. It's much less, much less likely that he'll box you in that way. So, just get rid of him as soon as possible. There's one. I I, I don't know how these beats are transferring their energy. To Mr. Buck in the background and making Buck take damage as a result of you hitting them, but I gotta say, it's working in our favor because we don't even have to be squaring up with, with the main boss all that much, and we're still dealing, you know, still dealing damage, at least to some extent. Okay. It's all patterns, man. It's all patterns. Here we go. 
These first two waves weren't actually too bad, so... It's always this last one. <laughs> always. <laughs> Listen to me. All of two times I got to this to this phase. Always. It's always the last one, though. Just try to keep going in circles. Kind of. Semi-tight circles. Really, um, grateful that I didn't get hit. Like, two times there, at least. Because I felt like I easily could have. Okay, oh boy. I'm gonna try to start firing right away. No. Of course not. <laughs> of course he's super hard to hit this last time. There! Victory! Damageless, and we did it. So it only took two tries. Oh, wipe my brow. We did it. I like that fight. It's it all boils down to pattern, you know, uh, dodging and, and well timed, well, well executed flying. But it's a nice test of your abilities with the um, with the bird mask. Well, those guys are absolutely adorable. Cute little penguin and stuff. I'm so glad we were able to rescue them. Level clear. Giant emblem and no damage. Beat broken. Achievement unlocked. Dang. I am feeling victorious after that. Ha <laughs> ha! Sweet. Well, I guess... We'll take a quick peek at what the name of the first level of the next world will be, right? So, and then we'll start World 3 in the next episode. Hey, look at those fireworks and that bunny flag. That's some serious progress, if I ever done did see it. Frozen Mountains complete. 7 out of 7 Kaze letters, 7 out of 7 bonuses, bonus green crystals, 8 out of 800, um... Purple gem collecting and one out of one boss emblem. So consider Frozen Mountains uh, completely 100%ed. Especially considering we also did all of the um, damage list things and everything. So we out. What awaits us here in three toxic tide? Oh golly. Um, pollution is apparently a problem here, I suppose. <laughs> well, looks to be about as large as the previous world. So we best get to uh, exploring. First level of Toxic Tide is called Feel the Flow. I suppose we will. Starting off with the next episode of Kaze and the Wild Masks. Thanks everybody for watching. And until next time, I appreciate all the support. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe and have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day.